Oli Yamla. I hope you're all well. And today I'm going to talk about Pachwit Witan Ismala, or my family, Pachwit Witan, and then part one. So Ismala. Okay. And actually, Pachwit Witan actually means my sons. But um, Fernando Labrado said it could be used as family also. So this is family terms and, of course, Limu. Um, so we're going to go over to some very basic family terms. I'm not going to go into aunts, uncles, nephews, and stuff like that. Just very basic family terms in this presentation. So, Pachuit Witan Ismala. Okay. So my father, you see, has two forms. It's Michka and Pachka. Okay. So Michka and Pachka. So you can say either one. Okay. Michka is my father. Pachka is my father also. But the, suff the prefix pa is a definite article. Okay, and sometimes um, in limu, you have to use ba before certain words. So like, for example, um, if the word for son, thanum. If I want to say the son, I say thanum. Okay, so he, for another body, it goes both ways. But I would say, I would suggest using michka because the word me, the suffix, prefix me is meaning my, possessive. Okay. So, but also the ch also represents my also. And it's said that it's a little bit ambiguous if you use bachka. So that's why you would use michka to be a little bit, you're emphasizing my father. Okay. So michka, bachka. So my mother, same thing, michlo, okay, and bachlo. So you would use bachlo in, more, I would say, more in an unemphasized way, and michlo is like emphasized. And also this phenomenon of inalienable versus alienable possession, I think that's called. Um, another Chumash language that actually has this feature is tihini. They have mi, and then they also have yam. Okay, so, you know, miklipu, like my, my house, or you, she, I heard, well, read her say yam klipu, my house. Okay, so you can do either one. Okay, michlo. Bachlo. Okay, my older brother, so this is one, I mean, I have two, but this is one, Michmos. Michmos. And you see, this one doesn't have a, there's no Bachmos, it's Michmos. That's why I suggest using me for talking about family. Michmos, my older brother. My younger brother, okay, I also have two, but I only have a picture of one. So Bach, Bachsumi. Batsumi, my younger brother. Okay. But actually, this is also means younger sibling. Okay. So it's not just brother, it can also mean sibling because you're going to see this word later on. Okay. So Batsumi, my younger brother or sibling. My older sister, this is actually my sister in law, but she's older than me. So that's why I used her. Batsmata. Uh, Batsmata. See, this time he said Batsmata. But I don't see why you can use michmata if you wanted to. Okay. I'm just writing down what is in the notes. So that's why I'm going with that one. But I, I'm pretty sure you can say michmata if you wanted to. Okay. So my older sister, bachmata. And my younger sister, this is actually my younger sister in law. Okay. Bachsumi. Again, like I said, bachsumi is a younger sibling. So it could be boy or girl. Okay. So bachsumi my younger sister or younger brother, younger sibling. My grandfather, Michwoyo. Michwoyo. This is actually my great, great grandfather, but I didn't have to show my grandpa. So Michwoyo, my grandfather. Okay. And in the next one for my grandmother, I'm going to show you how to, there's two ways depending on the situation. So Michwoyo, my grandfather. So, my grandmother, Michacha, Mich, Michacha, okay? You see how I wrote Michacha, which is my grandmother? Then on the bottom, I wrote Michacha Ma, Michacha Ma, okay? So that Ma at the end indicates that she's passed away, okay? So that's saying my deceased grandmother, okay? Michacha Ma, okay? But if your grandmother's still living, you would say Michacha. Okay. 
And so in this case, go back to my grandfather, for example, for example, because he's passed away a long time ago, uh, 1924, I believe he passed away. So I would say, okay, my deceased grandfather, or in this case, great, great grandfather. Okay. And that goes with anything. Okay. Um, so if you want to add ma at the end of um, somebody like, like somebody like my grandmother or any parent, sibling, you can add ma at the end of it. And that indicates that they've passed away. Okay. And this is similar to the amma, which actually is the past tense um, for verbs, amma, okay? So that's, that's where that comes from, okay? So mich cha cha and mich cha cha ma, okay? My grandmother and my deceased grandmother. So that's all I have. I, I wanted to make it nice, short, and simple. And so this is family part one in limu or Pachwit Witan Ismala. I hope you guys um, are having a good day. I hope you guys are staying safe. And I'll see you all later.